And the government, frankly speaking, has failed us as a country by not sorting out test, trace, isolate, despite the passage of six months. What they should be doing is speaking to colleagues in South Korea, Thailand, Taiwan and elsewhere who have sorted out to learn from them what needs to be done. I spoke today to the NHS London team and uh, because of the brilliant work of uh, the NHS, we currently have sufficient capacity in the NHS, both in terms of general admissions, uh, but also uh, in terms of intensive care units. We're hoping because of these additional restrictions being brought in uh, on Saturday first thing, there won't be a need to open the Nightingale because Londoners will follow the new uh, rules and that will mean there's enough headroom in the NHS to both treat COVID patients but non-COVID patients as well. It's quite clear from speaking to the NHS leadership in London today is the NHS is open. Uh, they're as safe as they can be. The way uh, the Prime Minister's chief advisor behaved led to people and I have in confidence that the government really knew what they were doing, but also asking the question, why should I follow the rules when he isn't? My advice to Londoners is ignore what government ministers do or government advisors do or members of parliament do. Do what is the right thing to do for our city and for your loved ones and for yourself. These rules are there, not because anybody wants to add restrictions to your life and your family's life for the sake of it. These restrictions are there because there are no good options and this will slow down the spread of the virus, which means hopefully you not catching the virus, your loved one not catching the virus, and they're not needing the NHS, which means the NHS can continue to treat patients who are non-COVID as well as those who are COVID who may unfortunately need the care of the NHS.